was a great trip. Wonderful for Jocelyn Allo, wonderful for our team. We got to experience a full flavor of their culture, which was really exciting for our team as well. Many of them have not been to Hawaii. Uh, well, I thought we played well. Um, the challenges we're dealing with now is just the jet lag, and you can see it on them. So we're just trying to get back to our schedules and uh, trust that we'll be ready to go this weekend. Didn't practice real hard yesterday. Just wanted them to get their bodies moving. So we're doing a lot of recovery, a lot of flushing. Um, some massages have been happening for some of these guys. <clears throat> Trying to set up their schedules to get back on schedule. So we, we're getting them up to work out at 930 in the weight room then our regular practice in the afternoon. So they might take a little nap. We talk to them, naps are no longer than an hour, and then try to get back to sleep at your regular bedtime. And um, I think today, personally for me, today was the hardest day to get up. I don't know why, uh, but it, I know it'll get easier as we go forward. It doesn't last that long, so we'll be ready. Going into every game, I have no idea unless they tell me. I've had two coaches come up and tell me, yes, before the game, we're pitching to her. Or, no, we're not pitching to her, and here's why. And I don't want to hear it. If you're not pitching <laughs> to her, don't talk to me about it. I didn't know um, because I think you could look at it a bu bunch of different ways. Like, uh, this is a Hawaii girl that didn't stay in Hawaii, so I'm not going to let her break the record here. I, I, I – <laughs> I think he was genius. Their coach was genius. And here's why. Um, if you don't pitch to Jossie, everyone's going to be boo you. And it's not just Oklahoma fans. Hawaii fans are going to boo you. Um, so it was the last at bat, and he brought in a pitcher who had thrown two innings. And I don't know, but I felt like it was almost scripted. So she throws up a fat pitch, boom, it's out of the stadium. Everybody, I mean, it's a smaller stadium, but you could feel the energy everywhere. And when she crossed home plate, Jossie got a lot of hugs. And their coach happened to have a leg in his dugout. <laughs> so he comes over, presents the lay, and I'm like, Wow. Okay. How did that? How, I, I'm just like, what, where did that come? So he walked away. He got a standing ovation. He takes out the pitcher. She gets a standing ovation. It's like a win, 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 win for everybody. But I thought he played it. Uh, <laughs> it was scripted, but classy at the same time, I guess. Um, so he looks like a hero because he pitched to her. The pitcher is already reached out to Jossie, put something out on social media. She's getting a lot of responses back. Um, so every, I think it was a win-win where every coach that we played otherwise was like, you're not going to do this to us. It's a curse. We're not going to do that to our program. We're not going to do that to our pitcher. But the opposite has happened. And absolute praise for competition is what has been I have felt has been happening. I just am so appreciative of, of Joe allowing this trip to happen. It's expensive. It's a very expensive trip. And we were trying to do it in 2020. Um, and COVID kind of shut all of this down. So this was our only shot. And um, so I appreciate him allowing it to happen. But what is really surreal to us is that we show up in Hawaii and they are packing the stands and behind left field fence, there is a parking structure and it is packed five stories of people lined up in the parking structure, trying to watch a female break a home run record. And then Barry Bonds reaches out to Jocelyn Allo among many uh, sports figures who have reached out to a female college athlete. That is advancement. That is talking about 50 years, what this sport has done and the excitement and the 
the energy and the love for the game that has been created is off the charts. And I am so happy and proud to be coaching in this moment. And I don't see it changing. I see it growing. Like I know at Hall of Fame Stadium on Saturday, they have sold out the bottom bowl. That's 5,000 fans. Plus they're trying to sell some standing room only. So now we're playing these five teams or we have five games at Hall of Fame Stadium and there are 5,000 people watching a non-conference. And to me, that's off the charts. So now I'm looking at our new stadium going, Joe, um, <laughs> wait a minute, maybe we need to rethink the outfield and some bigger bleach stadiums, some bleachers or something. So we're already looking at what this could be. I don't want to underestimate what's happening, but um, 5,000 people to see Iowa, Indiana, San Diego, Stephen F., Austin and I mean it's it's a wow factor to us so I see it continuing to grow and grow and grow even when I'm not in it I trust that it's going to continue to grow and grow and grow for more information you can visit tulsaworld.com